Hey guys, Brian here. Welcome back to the shop. Thought I'd do a little Monster Monarch update for you. Uh, may not seem like I've been turning out a lot of videos, but that's because I've just been doing work that's not really video worthy. Uh, one of the main things I've been doing was working on this uh, coolant system again. So it's been a lot of chip pan straightening and welding and cleaning and working on the trough in the back and I had to take the coolant pump apart that is on the carriage and free it up and clean it out because it was packed full of rust and chips and it wouldn't turn so it, that wasn't going to work. So got it all cleaned up, got the trough cleaned out. I ran my same clean uh, sump cleaner through here four times I filled this sump up and cleaned it out wiped it all down pulled all the plates off cleaned it as best I can fill it back up that's nah, still dirty so I guess uh, if you don't clean your sump for probably you know 50 years it's gonna be a lot of work to get it back to where it needs to be but fifth time's the charm for me uh, when I got done with the fifth time I had pretty clear water so for me that's going to be good enough I'm not going to fool with continuing to clean and clean and clean to try and get better I uh, want to use this thing and don't want to work on it anymore because it sucks so I'll show you what else I've been doing I had the uh, Pontiac block I welded up the other day while I had the welder out and was doing cast iron welding came over here and welded all over the Monarch. I know people probably love that, but it's what I wanted to do. You may remember there was a big cutout in this uh, carriage where I don't know what they were doing. I guess they were planning on mounting a diesel reed out here or something at some time, but they cut like a half inch out of this square. You'll be able to see when I bring you over here, but I ain't like, you know, when I set my indicator down and want to fall over in the hole and it's not smooth and flat, and I like to be able to lay stuff here, so uh, it's also nice for putting stuff in and out of the machine and not having to hang up and other reasons, but mainly it just looks a lot better. It really bothered me having that whacked out, chopped up piece on there, so I wanted to fill it all in and make it look factory, so the cast iron welding rod was the method I chose to do that. It's blended in pretty good. I mean, you can still tell a little difference, but uh, it's way better than, you know, like brazing it up or something would have been. It never would have looked right. Maybe if this, you know, weathers some and rusts over and gets cleaned back off, maybe it'll match a little bit better. But I'm sure the filler material is probably a little different than the base cast iron, so it'll probably always be a color difference, but oh well. Main thing is, is the indicator sitting on it flat, and that's what makes me happy. So you can see all this was built up of weld. It's about a half inch thick of weld on there to get that back to where it needs to be. But it's nice and flat, and it blends in pretty good. I got the edges fairly straight because there I didn't have a milling machine. This was all done with the file, basically. Welder and a file and a flap wheel to blend all that in. Looks pretty good. So I'm satisfied with it. Get the light on hard enough and you can't even tell. Also I came in here, there's uh, holes on both sides that are intended for the coolant to be able to drain back into the sump. You can see they got little dams on the end there to keep it from running off the end. They were stopped plumbing up, so I'd get long drill bits and go down through there and clean them out for this thing to be able to return. Otherwise, it's just pouring all the coolant back over the inside of the ways. So, lots and lots of cleaning and scraping and munching. This was uh, how many chips I've made since the first of the year with this thing. 
underneath all this. That's all the trash that's taken to clean this thing up. So, but I don't have big puddles underneath of it, which that was an issue. I had to weld three holes more up in the chip pan to keep it from leaking. So, cleaned up pretty nice. So, still got to put the some covers back on over here, but still taking a vacuum cleaner and sucking little bits of that uh, the oil that gets clumped together and washed and comes down in there. And then it's going to take forever to get this machine cleaned up as dirty and filthy as it was. And it's cool and just keeps washing oil and grease and stuff out of it. Even though I took shop back and screwdriver and dug all the holes out and scraped it off as best I could and I've got the it's draining back pretty good it still holds a little water down there at the end but it mostly drains back main thing is it won't rust now it had been rusting in here the rain water but it's cool and should help to protect it so let's see see over in the trough there it gets cool in there on the this fitting was busted off in the pump so I had to weld this bolt to it get it screwed out so I could put a new elbow up underneath there for the coolant. There's a sump on the side here that maintains coolant in it so that when the thing goes, when the trough is dry, there's water in it to prime it so it can go ahead and take off and start pulling more coolant in. Uh, without that, it would just drain back and lose its prime and not be able to pump again. So. But it certainly is looking a whole lot better than it did when it first came here. Yeah, that's the trough cover to keep chips from going down in the sump. I get that put back on still. But I'm still doing some cleaning, so I won't do that just yet. I gotta get a... Uh, three-quarter snap lock set up to come off the pipe up there so I can route it to the cutter rather than just having it waterfall off the top there kind of makes a mess but you know it's David the guy that does the big tree painting jobs I mean I, I'm sure as much flood cooling as they run on those things. They must have a heck of a mess all the time coming off those Probably lose a lot of cooling every day. I think slinging it everywhere but uh, Got the Semperial 1070 blue in there It uh, helps me to tell The concentration by how much color it is. I can tell if this is starting to get out of whack so we'll see how it does. It's supposed to be good cooling. I've not ever used it before. Uh, Steve Barton uses it on his grinder and he likes it okay. So I figured I'd try some on here. Being I got Cincinnati machines, might as well have some Cincinnati coolant. Awesome. I'm getting some tool holders set up. Got my Noga Big Boy indicator. Got that one that long to indicate anything on here, but. Starting to get a little organized. It's in a play tooling. Got some drive dogs. Boring bars. A bunch of hard jaws. Sure do like the way that looks better.
Mm -hmm. Well, I'm sure you'd like to see this thing work, so let me fire the phase converter up and I'll show you how the waterfall goes. So like I said, if you want to see somebody else that has some big lathes and does big turning work, be sure to check out David Wilkes on YouTube. Uh, he's over in England and runs some big machines uh, doing true pan work. So he too has a flood of cooling. But let's fire this thing up. like the shop boss has come to give it the wag of approval. Come here, Bailey. So Bailey's come to make sure that it's working like it's supposed to. I think he's glad to see that it can finally get back to some paying jobs instead of uh, pulling with working on this, which doesn't make any money, but it has to be done because if it's not fixed, you can't use it, so. So there it is, one more thing working. Um, about to get this thing to where it's all working like it's supposed to. I think I got the, the rapids are working. The cooling pumps are both working now. Uh, motors are working, forward, reverse, good. All the lights are working. Uh, shifter's working. So, we've got the carriage reverse, it's getting freer all the time. Awesome. What cooling does as far as rust prevention, uh, so far it's dried out a couple of times and not had any signs of any rusting going on. So. That'll be good, particularly since it's getting all over the waves and everything on here. Uh, it is definitely a flood of cooling, for sure. So, I'll get a snap system put on there so I can direct the coolant where I want it. And be ready to get a job in here and start doing some turning on it. So, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Catch y'all later.